All right, everyone, welcome back. It is now August 25th of 2023, and given that there's a lot of things happening right now with Snow White 2024 and Bob Iger's quest to further the damage control level by really stabilizing the backlash, and we all know that the Seven Dwarfs will be used at a very bare minimum in the upcoming trailer footage. Not like it's going to save anything, but there's a lot of things going on right now between the Snow White director and actress Gal Gadot and exactly what she actually did to said director for Snow White. Let's get into it. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And well, let's get into exactly what's going on with Mark Webb, the director of Snow White. You guys may know him from uh, directing The Amazing Spider-Man's 1 and 2. He was also a part of 500 Days of Summer. Those are really his three main movies that he worked on. Apart from that, he really isn't all that well established as a director in the film industry, and he doesn't really have a lot of gigs up and coming. And that's what led to a lot of problems between himself and Gal. Now, as you are all very well aware, Disney had this plan to create a Snow White cinematic universe. We talked about this where they were focusing on developing prequel movies, focusing on the Evil Queen and the Seven Dwarfs, as well as a Snow White sequel that fell apart. And now Disney is embracing just remaking Snow White all over again with a brand new iteration of the character once more, but also throwing in their DEI agenda nonsense into it all, which is counterproductive, honestly. Now, what's intriguing about this is exactly what happened between both, of course, Mark Webb and Gal Gadot, and what really happened between Disney themselves. You know, we know that Bob Iger and the board have been having a lot of shakeups lately. However, with Snow White 24 going through many issues at Disney, and as they anticipate the trailer to drop at this year's D23 event, one major development has to do with director Mark Webb who reportedly is angry with Gal after making a crucial decision that completely wrecked his master plan at Disney. Now, Webb reportedly had many problems and grudges with Gal after she actually single-handedly broke Mark Webb's Disney deal to helm four Snow White movies. Snow White, two prequel films, and a sequel, all of which have been axed as of right now. That started off with the cancellation of the prequel movies that was going to focus on the Evil Queen's origin tale and the Seven Dwarfs. Gal wanted nothing to do with Disney anymore as Mark Webb used various scenes for the up-and-coming Snow White, still for, for release in March of 2024, of Gal and the final cut that involves acting takes that held poor acting moments that she felt embarrassed over, but that's going to be used in the final cut via Mark Webb giving that the go-ahead. With Mark Webb now, of course, losing three Snow White movie opportunities out of the four Snow White movie deal by Disney that he was going to direct, this is now leaving him with little to no projects to work on, period, in the near future of anything large scale as a director. Now. We know that he does executive produce some small things here and there for television, but Mark Webb, he was really banking on this Disney deal for Snow White to really blossom and become big and to continue regardless of the ongoing drama with the recently photographs of the Seven Dwarfs. It was all because of Gal why Disney canceled the two Snow White prequel movies one of which was going to focus on the Evil Queen, another of which, like I said before, would focus on the Seven Dwarfs, while also having the Evil Queen show up in and out of that movie as well, and the sequel to Snow White 2024 got axed. The only thing that remains is exactly what he worked on for this movie alone, and that's it. So, it's going to be a very bad ending to his career. No doubt that this is going to stick with him for the years to come. The fact that he has nothing big up and coming, this could very well be his last movie, guys, as a director. For anything that's large-scale speaking, right? So, I know a lot of you have had mixed opinions on the Amazing Spider-Man films, which, by the way, were directed by Mark Webb. He created them, after all. A lot of people hate them, some people love them, and I, however, was not a big fan of them, I will be honest. Uh, I didn't really like the depressing nature of those films, 
And so they're kind of applying the same exact thing here with Snow White 24. But I'll get into that in specifics a little bit later on. What's intriguing though is that both Gal and Mark Webb did have their arguments as she requested Webb, this is where things get more complex, to delete said scenes that involved bad acting takes from the film that are now, of course, still in the final cut that he had differed opinions on with that motivated him to, tune in, to actually tune out Gal's requests and stick to his own vision. This is what ultimately led to the Disney deal for Mark Webb collapsing, and that Disney wanted to turn Snow White into a mini Snow White cinematic universe. Around four to five films max, centering on different characters and their origin tales and how they would all interconnect. With Webb as a big time supporter of the Seven Dwarfs, not actually being dwarfs, many of the general public will have no issue with this deal breaking apart, with Disney due to Gal calling her role as the Evil Queen off that created a domino effect on Disney's plans. Now get this, Disney is still, however, planning to build a Lion King universe with more films planned that will be announced next year. We already talked about how they want to develop a Scar Lion King prequel film. We already have the Mufasa prequel film coming out next year. So they want to center on Scar and they also want to create a Lion King sequel. It's almost the same exact thing that they wanted to do with Snow White, but that all fell apart. So Mark Webb, this is going to be a very big problem for him and he had a lot of issues with Gal for those reasons that we just talked about. But the problem here I think is even worse for Disney is the fact that they really are trying to scramble with the damage control. They have plan A and B. The plan A is to re-edit this movie. We already talked about this. They're embracing a full-on re-edit of the film, instructing Mark Webb how long they want it to be, you know, what kind of pacing they want to embrace to move or rearrange specific scenes around in post-production, which has been going on for well over a year now, by the way, guys. A uh, pretty long time. And on top of that, plan B is to reshoot scenes of this movie. The problem with that is WGA and everything happening with SAG is getting in the way of making that anything possible. And if they do want to pursue plan B as the main plan, they're going to have to delay this movie from March until quite possibly past June of 2024. So this is going to be a wreck regardless, and Bob Iger's a hack. This guy does not care about his customers, he does not care about the people that go ahead and see these Disney live action remakes. By the way, as we discussed earlier today, this is basically Disney's new era plan of live action remakes, is that they want to diminish the source material, they want to take away any value from the animated movies, and they want to flip it upside down. The same exact thing will apply to the Hercules live action movie, Lilo and Stitch, Sword in the Stone, and they also have the screen rights, by the way, now, to the Black Cauldron, and they're going to be turning that around as well. More on that a little bit later this week, by the way. Anyway, guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>